Greetings everyone and welcome back to another episode of Plan B Success. Money plays a central role in everyone's life. After all, you need it for a living and it's assumed that the more you have of it, the better off you are. As a result, everyone chases it throughout their lives. But again, how much do you need? The answer, I believe, is relative to what you need it for and hope to accomplish with it. Very few people see money as a means to an end, the end being the values in your life. Of course, money is used to pay your bills and buy stuff, but your choices in how you spend your money are totally up to you. Some keep a little tucked away for a rainy day and others love that they can splurge on the next big ticket item they desire. How you manage your money is an individual choice you make. And once that choice is made, that money is gone forever into that choice. Money can help benefit you when you align your money decisions with your values. What are your values in life? Make a list and allocate a priority order. There is the present, the future, and of course, past decisions you have made. Your money will go into all these areas to serve your decisions. You can't control the past, but the present and the future, you can shape it based on your values and where your money should go. If you want a secure future where you do not have to work as hard, that's a value choice you're making and some of your money should go into building that nest egg so you can realize your future decisions. Perhaps you have kids going into college and need to invest some funds into their education bucket. Perhaps you want a vacation home and need to put some money aside for that. Again, the values that you hold dear are your own and the choices you make to ensure they are well served are also yours. Your money values shape your earning, saving and spending habits. When your money values and life goals are on the same track, your actions follow suit. As a result, you tend to lead richer, happier and more satisfying lives. As you make these decisions, what's vital is that you understand the time value of money. When you invest your money for a future goal, it tends to compound and grow. Its value in the future could be far more than what you invested today. The choice of your investment vehicle will decide that. Not all investment vehicles are the same. Each carries its own risk and the higher the risk, the more the reward risk ratio. This also means that you may lose your money and that's a cautious decision you need to make when you invest. Know that money uninvested has no chance of growth at all. But the real value of money is not just denomination. It's more values aligned and how that money can be used to serve what you hold dearest. Self-worth and identity are things each of us holds dearest for that defines who we are and can be in the future. And money being an instrument with a value stored in it is merely what you accrue based on what you do and how much you value yourself. Over time, which again is a value, you tend to grow and so do your knowledge and experiences, which have their own value. As a result, what you attract in terms of money also grows. Your happiness and positivity, your relationships and well-being all have their value in your life as you deem. These values are your actual wealth and money becomes an instrument that serves them provided you make that decision. The value stored in money is only realized when it's used, put into action to serve another, hopefully your values that you hold dear. Being rich is not about how much money you have and what you bought with it. It's more about what you hold dear in your life and how you're enhancing such values further and gaining satisfaction from them. Money can serve as an instrument in this process of progress. Life and its experiences are where true value rests. Money, which is an instrument to affect these experiences, 
has the power to hold you accountable in the form of stress, ego, pain, jealousy, or even freedom, happiness, peace, and satisfaction. Which of these flares up in your life depend on your value chain and its cycle of experiences. For someone who is in true control of their needs and clear about their values, money no longer plays the role of a motivator or purpose in life, but as an instrument serving their higher purpose and values in life. Making or spending money is not success. It's a tool that enhances your success in life. In an innovative business, it fuels creativity. In community, it fuels service. In a family, it fuels togetherness and comfort. And in you, it fuels your values and how to uphold them so you're all happy and fulfilled. Learn to have a healthy relationship with money. Grow it, control it, and leverage it to enhance your values and experiences. Hey, if you like these episodes, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to share both on YouTube and your favorite podcasting channel. You can find it on www.planb.live. Thank you very much.